we're going to create some snowfall. Continuing on from the last video, I'm going to show you how to create this image here using another image layer, a couple of blending modes and a gradient mask. Let's dive right in. Okay, continuing on from the last video that I did, I'm just going to show you how to have fun with some of your images. This is not intended to be a final image. This is just to show you how layers can work and how they can interact with it. So it's just a short compositing tutorial and here we go, let's just dive right into it. You can see I've applied the last look, which is winter snow, to this image. So there's the before, the after, the winter snow look. So I'm going to close looks and then I'm going to get into layers. In the layers, I'm going to add a new image layer. I'm going to add snow test. I'll rename these and make them available for you and you can download them below. I'll put five or six in different snow textures. So as you can see that's dropped in. It's a JPEG with a black background and snow in front of it. So what I'm going to do, or what I'm going to have to do is blend it through this image. So go down to blend. I know that screen works best for this, but you can try any of them at all to see what works best for you. So I'm going to go for screen. It's blended through the image. I am then going to drop the opacity of this. Just a tiny amount. To around there. Because remember, snow just, just doesn't just fall straight in front of you. It has depth depending on how big the clouds are. So I've got that there, I'm quite happy with that just now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another image layer. This one I'm going to add snow test again to. So open. And again it will drop the same image on top of this. And again I'm going to blend it using screen. So there we go, it's doubled it up but it's not what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is layer transform. And once these handles appear, you can move these in any direction you wish. So I am going to take some of these out because repetition shows up in any image. And if you can see repetition like here and here, you won't be too happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to move that up again, pull that down and then I'm going to do that with it. That'll do me, that'll do me for this one. I'm going to click done, it will go back to my original image. I'm then going to pull the opacity down. And as you can see, there is a lot of repetition here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the mask in this one. Edit mask, gradient mask, and I'm just going to follow the instructions. So. Towards the top, the snow is getting heavier. Towards the bottom, it's not as heavy. And I'm going to leave it at that. So here's the before. Here's the image we brought in. And then after a little bit of fun and experimentation, here's the image we have. And it is just for fun. It's just to show you, for a bit of fun, how new image adjustment layers can work. What I can now do is I can go back in and edit the image if I wanted. I could go back in and create new stamped layer, which would bring all those layers together into one layer and then go on and edit it. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it at that. Hopefully you got something from that and hopefully it just lets you see what the software can do if you just let your imagination run wild. This is not intended in any way at all to be a finished image. This is a composite and it is for fun. If you've enjoyed this video, big thumbs up. If you want to check out the rest of my videos in the channel, please do. If you're not currently a subscriber, think about subscribing. And thanks again for watching.